Hello and good morning. Alison here at Keithley Healthy Living. Welcome to our KHL exercise studio and welcome to our core and floor class. Thank you very much for joining me this morning. Hope you're feeling fit and well. As always, before we start the workout today, we need to check the area around us. It's free of many hazards, nothing to trip or fall over and nothing sharp to knock into. For our core and floor class today, you will need a chair or something to sit on and a floor mat or somewhere comfortable to um, lay down on for the floor work that's later in the class. As always, before you participate, you need to be feeling fit and well, free from any medical conditions, illness or injury. So thank you very much for joining me this morning, Wednesday morning. Can't believe we're in the first week of February already. So before we start, find a space, we'll cue the music and off we go. Marching through, back tall, tummy in nice and tight. We're going to get really warmed up this morning, ready for our workout. Let's march it for four, three, give me heel and toe, right leg, heel into floor, tip of the toe to the floor. Let's warm up the ankle joint, four, three, two, changing sides, heel into floor, tip of the toe to the floor. Four, three, two, shoulder shrug the right shoulder, lift it up, back tall, tummy in, other side. Now circle the shoulders round, bend the knees, knees following the toes, back tall, tummy in. Now let's march those feet wide and narrow, take it wide, take it narrow. To our Latin beat this morning, now look at that head, look to the right, look centre, warming up that neckline. Glancing up, looking down, glancing up, looking down. Take the hips around to the right, take them round. Four more. And round we go to the left, take it round. Four, three, now pelvic squeeze it forward, squeeze it forward and release. Keep going. Take the hips from side to side, pump the arms. Wiggle that bottom. Four, three, two, one. Match it wide and narrow. Really get us warmed up this morning. Let's do a little step touch to side. Heels down. Ready to lift the right knee up for four. Lift it up. Two, three, and four. Other side. Body weight forwards, back tall. Four more again. Up, two, three, and four. Let's do eight on the right this time. Eight, seven, six, five. Lifting up, body weight forward. Changing sides. Back tall to me in. Four, three, two, one. A hand curl, heel to bottom, alternate legs. Pump the arms, body weight forwards. Four, Three, now just the right leg, curl it up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and other side. Body weight forwards. Eight, this side. Four, three, two, back to alternate. We're gonna go single, single, and double. Single, single. That's your coordination skills this morning. Get that mind working. One more time. To marching wide and narrow. Take it wide, take it narrow. Back tall to me in. Twice more. Wide and narrow. Wide, hold it here. Now hips facing forward, we're just going to turn at the waist. Right to the right, push forwards. Hips stay facing forward, just the upper part of the body moving. Now take it over to a side bend. Take it over, lift it up. Back tall, tummy in. Four more. Four, three, two. Back to those step touches. And as we do that, we're just going to shrug the shoulders. And as we do that, circle the shoulders around to the back and to the front. 
March the feet wider now. Take it wide, take it narrow. Heel and toe, heel into floor, tip of the toe to the floor. Four, three, two, change inside. Heel into floor, tip of the toe to the floor. Four, three, two, march it wide and narrow. Wide and narrow. Two more. And hold it here. Okay, we're going to check that both toes are pointing forwards. Feet about hip distance apart. We're going to turn sideways on so you can see. Bring that back tall tummy in. We're trying to get the hips so that they're, they're parallel. So imagine that your hips are like a bowl of water and you don't want to tilt, tip any water out. So you're going to keep that bowl of water still. Okay, from here... We're just going to breathe a deep breath in, breathe in, and breathe out, breathe in, and breathe out. Now as we breathe in, we're feeling our lungs fill with air, and breathing out. If you want to, you can place your hands just on your ribcage, and then you feel the lungs breathe in, and breathe out, so breathing in, the lungs fill with air, Breathe out. So we're just breathing into our hands and away from our hands. Breathe in and breathe out. Now, as we breathe in, we're engaging every muscle in our body. So our pelvic floor breathes in and breathes out. Breathe in, breathe out. Again, breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Keep it going twice more. One more time, and breathe out. Okay, rest it there. Remember those breaths, because you're going to use those breaths again in a minute. What we're going to do now, is we're going to squeeze the pelvis at the top of the thigh. So as we breathe in, we're squeezing in, and then we're breathing out, releasing. Okay, so it's only a tiny movement. So we're going to squeeze in, in, release. Squeeze, release. Breathe in breathe out. So try and relax your bottom if you can, so you're just squeezing from the top of the thighs. Imagine that you've got a matchstick and you're trying to hold that matchstick. Squeeze in, squeeze out. Four more, three more, two more and last one. I'm going to turn the toes in slightly now. Make sure your knees are still in line with your feet. Your knees are in line with your toes so we're not putting any stress on the knee joint. Okay, and we're just going to try and do that same movement but just squeezing at the front. So we're going to squeeze. Imagine you've got that matchstick and you're squeezing it together. Squeeze in, squeeze out. Keep going. Pull to me in, squeeze in, squeeze out, not forgetting to breathe, squeeze in, squeeze out, keep going, four, three, two, last one, relax it there, okay, beat back to parallel, this time we're going to try and just squeeze at the back, so, the best way for me to explain how to do this is if you imagine that you're trying to stop yourself from passing wind and then you're just squeezing at the back. Keep, try and keep your bottom relaxed so it is your pelvic floor that's working and not your bottom. Feet pace for forwards, knees nice and soft, let's squeeze together. Squeeze in, squeeze out. So press it forwards, try and squeeze from the top of your thighs. Squeeze in, squeeze out. Squeeze in, squeeze out. Four more, three more, two more, and last one, rest it there. Okay, we're gonna put one foot slightly in front of the other now. And what we're going to do from here is we're just going to squeeze up and lift that pelvis forwards. Okay, 
so are we ready? We're going to just squeeze it up. Squeeze. Squeeze. Press forwards. Nice and controlled. Squeeze. So it's also working our bottoms as well. A bit in the hip flexors, a bit in the thighs. Squeeze. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Rest it there. Let's change over and do the other side. So swap your feet over or turn around into the other direction. Toe at the back. Press that pelvis forward. Squeeze. Tilt that pelvis forward. Squeeze that pelvis. Squeeze, release. Keep it going. Hips facing forwards. Squeeze. Quite a good one for the core, this as well. The core has to stay very still for you to work that pelvic floor. Keep going. Plus your bottom's working too. Squeeze. Four, three, two, and last one, rest it there. Okay, grab hold of a chair or the back of the chair. Toes pointing forwards, we're gonna squat down and pull up. So we're gonna push the bottom back and squeeze up. Body weight forwards, pull up. Squeeze up, so pressing the pelvis forward as we do that. Bottom back, push up. And be careful not to go too low and keep that body weight forward. Press your hands onto the chair so the chair takes your body weight and then we're not putting any stress on the knee joints. Squeeze it up. Push it back, squeeze it up. Don't forget to squeeze that pelvis on the way up. Breathe out, breathe in. Remember those deep breaths. Out, breathe in, keep it going. Four more, three more, two more, and last one, rest it there. From here, what we're gonna do, sit with your hands on the chair if you like, or you can put them onto your hips, it's up to you. And we're just gonna breathe in, and pull it in, pull the pelvis in, and we're imagining that we're lifting that pelvic floor up inside, and it's going up through some escalators. So we're gonna lift it up to floor one, hold it there and release down okay we're gonna pull it up to floor one then floor two this time so pull it in up to floor one lift it up again to floor two hold it and release it down can we go for floor three are we ready so we're lifting that pelvic floor squeeze in pull it up pull it up again and again hold it there and release it down. Again, pull in, lift up to floor one, up to floor two, up to floor three, to floor four, hold it, release down. Twice more up to floor four, two, three, four, hold it there, and release down. One more time, pull it in, lift, up, Pull it up inside, squeeze, and release it down. Okay, we're gonna go back to the squats this time. And this time, if you can, you can go a little bit deeper. So we're really pushing that bottom back, making sure that our knees are not going past, our bottom's not going past 90 degrees, but squatting further back. If you feel uncomfortable doing that, just do the little squats that we did before. It's up to you how hard you work. Are we ready? Push that bottom back. Back, squeeze it up. Push that bottom right back, down, squeeze it up. Squeeze that pelvic floor as you come up. Shoulders nice and relaxed, back tall, body weight slightly forward, keep it going. You're doing good. Down, squeeze it up. Squeeze together. Toes pointing forwards. Body weight forward, push that bottom back. Down, squeeze it up. Four more, three more, two more. 
And last one, rest it there. Okay, we're gonna have a sit down now. Feet on the chair, and I'm just gonna take my feet a bit further than hip distance apart. Feet flat on the floor. We're gonna use our inner thigh and our pelvic floor to squeeze together. So this is a really good one for working the inner thighs and the outer thighs too. So hands on the side of your chair or just on your lap, it's up to you. And what we're gonna do is squeeze them together. So squeeze together and out. Squeeze and out. So use your inner thighs to drag those feet together. Squeeze. Breathe in, breathe out. Now as you bring the legs in, really pull up through your core, through your middle, through that pelvic floor. Squeeze in, squeeze out. Four more. Three, two, and last one, release it there. Place one hand in front, and we're gonna have the other hand this one's for now for the core, for the sides of the body. So we're lifting up, up, threading through. So your palms in front and you're reaching across. Push it through, up, cross. Up, cross. Back tall, tummy tight. Up and cross. Keep it going. Can we feel it down the sides of our tummies? Four, three, two, last one. Rest it there. Give your arms a shake. We're going to do the same on the other side. Hand in front, lift it up and across. Cross and back. Breathe out, breathe in. Breathe out, breathe in. Keep going. Cross and back, feeling it down the side of your body. Sides of those tummy muscles. Really good one for working the core. Keep going. Four more like this. Four, three, two, last one, rest it there. Hands down on your lap or on your chair. We're gonna do a second set of those inner thigh squeezes. Are we ready? Squeeze in and out, in and out. Use those inner thighs, squeeze in, squeeze out. Back tall, squeeze in, keep going, nice and controlled, squeeze in, squeeze out, keep those feet in touch with the floor, squeeze in, squeeze out. Four more, three more, two more, and last one, rest it there. Okay, placing our chair to one side now. And we're gonna take our mat onto the floor. Okay, so slowly, slowly down onto the floor. Knees first, feet, and then we're gonna slowly roll our back down onto the floor, checking that our head is in line with our spine, nice and relaxed on the floor. And we're just going to start with some breathing, so breathing in and breathing out, breathe in, breathe out, and as you do that, you engage in that pelvic floor breathing, and breathe out. So it's full deep body breaths, breathe in, breathe out, keep going, breathe in, 
breathe out. Let's have a pelvic squeeze of that breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in, squeeze it in. And out. Four more like this. Four. Three. Another two. Last one. And relax it there. Okay, now what we're going to do is bring one leg in. I'm going to take one arm up. So what we're going to do is bring the opposite knee and arm in together and push out. So this is a good one for the for the the, 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 um, the muscles of the core, the muscles of the tummy. So ready, off we go. So we're going to bring it in, push out, in, push out, in, push out. Four more, three, two, last one. Rest it there, change over, and we're gonna do the other side. So bring in, push out, breathe in, push out. In, out. Four, three, two, last one, relax it there. Change back to the original side. This time we're gonna push it in and we're gonna push a straight leg out so we're really working nicely down the court. Bring it in, push out, in, push out. Not forgetting to breathe. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Four more. Three. Two. Last one and rest it down. Change over to the other side. Bring it in. Push out. In. Push out. Keep going. Remember to breathe. In. Push out. In, push out. Four more. Three more. Two more. And last one, rest it there. Okay, now we're going to lift our pelvis up off the floor, keeping our feet where they are. If you can touch your ankles, that's good, because that means your feet are in the exact position. If you can't, just can you get your feet heels in towards your bottom as far as you can we're going to lift up and make sure our body weights into our shoulders from here we're going to squeeze the legs together so we're going to squeeze together and out so a bit like the exercise that we did on the chair but this time our feet are staying fixed into the floor breathe in breathe out squeeze in squeeze out Squeeze in, squeeze out. Press that pelvis forwards. So working the outer thigh and the inner thigh and the pelvic floor as we squeeze those legs together. Try and keep your bottom relaxed so you're working from the inner thigh. Squeeze in, squeeze out. Four more. Three, two, Last one, hold it here. Now squeeze it up, squeeze, press it forwards. Squeeze, squeeze. Four, three, two, one, relax it down. Keep the feet where they are, drop the knees to one side. So our lower back's protected by the floor. Fingertips at the side of the head, or you can slide them along your thighs. Choose your position. We're just going to lift and lower off the floor, working our tummy muscles. We're going to lift and lower. Breathe out, breathe in. And 
And as we breathe, our pelvic floor is engaged too. Breathe out, breathe in. Tummy in tight. Lift and lower. Nice and controlled. Nice smooth movements. Breathe out, breathe in. Four, three, two, last one, rest it there. Hands back down by your sides. Bring the knees together, feet on the floor. We're going for a second set. Lift your pelvis up off the floor. Bring the legs together. Squeeze in, squeeze out. Nice and controlled. Squeeze those thighs together. Squeeze in, squeeze out. Use that pelvic floor to so try and squeeze from the inner thigh and keep your bottom relaxed. Squeeze. We'll go for eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one, hold it here now, let's just press it, squeeze it up, squeeze, four, three, two, and this one we're going to hold, press it up, and release it down back to the mat, feet together, knees out to the side, and lift and lower, lift and lower, Nice and relaxed, fingertips at the side of your head. Head looking at the gap between the ceiling and the wall. Try and imagine you've got an apple between your chin and your chest and you want to keep it there to keep your head in the right position. If you find it more comfortable, you can slide your hands up your thighs. Keep it going, lift and lower. Lift and lower. Four more, four, three, two and less one relax it there bring the knees back together okay time to stretch out all those hard work muscles now so we're going to start off by placing our right leg in towards our chest feeling a stretch through the muscles of the bottom and holding it there worked hard so it's important we stretch everything out to avoid injury also helps to increase your flexibility. Now taking that leg that we've got hold of and placing the footprint on the ceiling, stretching down through the hamstring, holding it either around the thigh or around the calf. Give it a really good stretch through. Now that foot that you've got on the ceiling, we're going to place the heel of that leg down onto the knee of the opposite leg, reach between the legs and draw in off the floor, feeling a stretch down through the outer thigh. If you prefer, you can just rest your foot on the floor as long as you get that stretch. And relax there. Do the same on the other side. Draw your knee in towards your chest to start with, just hold it there. Feeling a stretch through your bottom. Now that leg that you've got hold of, we're going to try and put a footprint on the ceiling, stretching out that leg. Feeling stretch through the hamstring, and when you feel that stretch start to ease, try and bring that leg a little bit straighter or a little bit close towards your chest, supporting either around the thigh or around the calf, increasing that flexibility. And now that foot 
fact that you've got hold off place the heel onto the knee of the opposite leg feeling a stretch through the outer thigh if you need to increase the stretch lift it up off the floor so you get that stretch through the outer thigh Placing both feet back down onto the mat, we're going to roll over onto our front. And from here, we're just going to take hold of one leg around the shoelaces and rest the head on the opposite forearm. Press the pelvis forward, feel a stretch down through the front of your thigh. Give it a really good stretch through. Try and increase the flexibility in the quadriceps, the muscle at the front of the thigh. So improved flexibility in here can really help to improve your pelvic floor function. And relax it there, do exactly the same over on the other side. Press the pelvis forward, feeling a stretch through the front of the thigh, holding your foot around the shoelaces really pressing that pelvis forward if you can't reach your shoelaces the bottom of your leggings or your sock will do just until you feel that stretch through the front of the thigh everybody's different and release it there okay placing your forearms onto the mat and just press your chest forwards so you get a really nice stretch down through your tummy muscles and down through the front of your pelvis and if you feel the stretch there and that's all fine you can keep it in that position if you want to increase your stretch and increase your flexibility you can push yourself up into what we call the full cobra stretch avoid this if you've got any back issues make sure your head's in line with your spine as you press the pelvis forward and feel that stretch down through those abdominals and through into that pelvis from here now we're going to push ourselves up into an all fours position palms under shoulders knees under hips pull your tummy in and round your lower back giving you a really good stretch through that lower back which is really good if your back's aching this morning of course if you've got any major injuries you shouldn't be joining us for our exercise and release it there slide the hands forward pull your bottom over your heels feeling a stretch through your bottom and from here push yourself up onto your toes just hold the position stretching through your back in a little curl hands on the floor and in your own time now returning to a standing position bringing your head up last I'm going to push my mat to one side okay from here we're going to take the right leg back lunge down through the front knee press both heels firmly into the floor as I do that I'm going to just take my arms forward and give myself a hug feeling a stretch through the upper back and releasing hands in the small of your back press your chest forward feeling a stretch across the front of your chest and now taking your heel at the back off the floor and press the pelvis forward, feel a stretch through that hip flexor. As we do that, hands in the small of your back, press your chest forwards. Bring both feet together, change over to the other side. Front knee bent, flat leg straight, both heels pressed firmly into the floor. And as we do that, take the right hand between the shoulder blades and the left hand over the top stretching through your arms if you prefer you can push from the front giving you a lovely stretch through those upper arms 
and release it there. We're going to take the heel off the floor now, pressing the pelvis forward. And as we do that, we're going to do the arms over on the other side. So between the shoulder blades and over the top, or push from the front. Feel the stretch through that hip flexor. Bring together, reach the arms up, push your palms up as if you are pushing up towards the ceiling, feeling a stretch through those tummy muscles. And now release the hands down, place one hand on the side of your head and the other hand out to the side. Stretching through that neckline. And release you the same on the other side. Now that hand that's out to side, bring it in front. Show me the palm, hold between the joints and look over your shoulder. Release it there. Hand in front, show me the palm, hold between the joints, look over your shoulder. And release there. Walk the feet out, so just a little bit more than hip distance apart. Turn your right toe to the corner, lunge down, reach up and across your body. So we're getting a really nice stretch in the inner thigh and down the side of your body. Release there, correct the toe forward, opposite toe to corner, lunge down, reach up and across your body. Feel a lovely stretch down the side of your body and in the inner thigh. And release it there, hands on the back of your thigh, pull your tummy in. Stretch out that lower back one more time. And finally take a big deep breath. And release down, one more. Up, and release it down. Give your hands a shake, give your legs a shake, and give yourselves a clap. Thank you very much for joining me this morning. Hope you enjoyed our core and floor workout. Hope to see you again next week. Take care, bye.